Hey guys, what is going on? It is Evan here, and welcome to another Titanfall gameplay. This one's going to be a 92 point attrition game that, believe it or not, I lose. And there's a couple things I want to address in this gameplay, and this gameplay, I absolutely go off. I just want to let you guys know now, make sure you pay attention to the gameplay, because I absolutely wreck everybody in my site. There is constant action, pretty much 24-7 in this gameplay. I absolutely wreck and my teammates really don't want to help me at all. I do score 45% of my attrition points for the entire team. I score 45%. And note, there's six people in the game the entire time. So out of the six people, I score half and we lose. One person scores half the entire team's points and we lose. That's ridiculous. And we didn't, it wasn't even that close of a game. We lost by like 30 or 40 points and it was a bit out of control. Like, there's not much else I can do when I'm absolutely wrecking this many grunts, this many pilots, this many titans. There's not a whole lot else I can do when I'm going this hard. As you can see, I just absolutely smack that guy in the face with my foot. And we're, right off the bat, we're, we're, we're down. And there really wasn't much I can do. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm using the uh, R10, R110, R101C, my bad, uh, carbine with the HCOG and suppressor. But one other thing I want to let you guys know of is that my stats have been restored in Titanfall, not completely. Because if you guys watch my other video on Titanfall where the uh, thing glitched and it sent me back to level one. Um, yeah, that happened and then about 24 hours later, I you know contacted Xbox support, stuff like that. And they did actually manage to get my stats somewhat restored. I was level 41 when I got reset and they restored my stats back to 33 which is probably like the last time I shut off my Xbox which is probably why it was that level but you know it, it was bullshit but I really you know it was like whatever I got my stats back because that entire day I was kinda like you know what? I'm just not gonna play Titanfall because I'm gonna get my stats restored pretty soon and I don't wanna waste any time you know playing without gaining any levels or anything but yeah right here you can see I pick up the compact uh, SMG which is the first SMG you unlock and this is actually a first time ever in Titanfall that I've actually needed to pick up a gun because I'm out of ammo. I've never run out of ammo in this game so far. And yeah, that just shows how 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 much I'm going off in this gameplay. I am playing attrition, which is something I usually don't do very often. I uh, usually play domination, but I've played probably about three or four attrition games in my entire lifespan of Titanfall. And every single one of those games I've lost. And you wanna know why? This is why. Cause I played two games right before this one of attrition. And both those times, I score one-third of my team's entire points. Both those times, we lose. I'm getting pissed. Then I play this one, I'm going off. I'm not really even paying attention to the score because when you're going off and you're in the zone, you know that you, you, you just know that your team's going to win because if one person's providing this much support for the rest of the team, you know, you don't think about losing at all. You just assume you're going to be winning because of that. And, yeah, it comes back to kick my ass, but... Oh well, but uh, tips and tricks series I'm probably going to be doing. Let me guys uh, know what you think about that. But there's some kind of stuff I've been learning about strats in uh, not only attrition but mostly a uh, hard point. That's some strats I want to show you. As you guys know, I'm going to be doing that uh, best best cap spots or whatever I'm going to call it for uh, hard point and just some cool uh, spots to wall hang and just general spots that can you can cover a lot of areas when you're covering certain hard points. That's one series I'll be doing. I'll probably wait until they come out with private uh, private matches because they did say they were going to launch private matches in Titanfall. So I'm going to wait for those to come out and that's when I'll probably really start like looking for some spots because in public matches I can look for them and stuff, but you really can't zone in on be like, I w if I were to just do it off of public matches, first of all, it would be hard to display for you guys to see a visual of it. And then on top of that, uh, I wouldn't be able to give you the best spots because I really wouldn't have time to mess around too much because it's public match and I have to enemies to face against and stuff like that. But I have that series coming and also tips and tricks series. If you guys want to see that, make sure to let me know. And something I'm really actually I, I didn't think I was gonna do at first, but I actually got some pretty good you know methods of doing things. And one of them is using this radar right here. I'll get more in depth of that uh, later on. And look at me absolutely shit on that guy. Uh, with that beautiful double kill two piece, and I believe I get like two or three double kills uh, on pilots in this in this game, and it's just ridiculous. Like I don't think I've ever had a game where there's this much consistent action in it. Which it was a really fun game, but 
overall, it's just kind of frustrating to see that your team cannot pick up the slack when you're carrying them this hard. But I don't, I don't go on my Titan at all, which is another thing that I guess is kind of impressive because I don't like going on my Titan too much. I'm definitely going to bring you guys uh, some Titan gameplay because some of you guys do enjoy watching tit uh, people going to the Titans and some don't. So I primarily go on my pilot, but I do like to level up my Titan and get some attachments and stuff like that in my Titan. My favorite one right now is the one with the chain gun, but I have not unlocked the Ogle or Strider Titan yet. I have to do the campaign to unlock that stuff, but I'll definitely be doing that in the future. I'm just going to try to uh, proceed right now. I'm pretty close to prestiging. Gonna do some uh, GBs with uh, my friends right now, but later on today, I'm currently level. I think it said 48 right there, but I'll be uh, doing that um, prestiging later today, and that'll be pretty cool. I would have prestiged a lot earlier because uh, it reset me again to only 33 out of the 41. So those, uh, you know, those eight levels are quite significant. And you can see right here, again, I'm struggling with my ammo, but luckily I died to a, an enemy titan, so I didn't really have to worry about that ammo issue for too long. Because I'm trying to kill that guy with my pistol, and it's just not working out. And I, I always, this throughout the gameplay, I always notice that, okay, I'm going to be low ammo. I'm going to need to adjust to that, and I'm going to need to try to, whenever I kill somebody, go to pick up the gun. And that's what I was doing. I was killing a, a pilot, go to pick up the gun, and they wouldn't have any. And it was quite strange. I think they had the same gun I had, and I was just getting, like, an extra mag to it. But it was pretty cool how that's this is the only game I've actually had to worry about ammo. But as you can see, that radar radar is so helpful in this game. Um, it's probably the best tactical ability. Uh, right beside that, I would say would have to be the cloak ability, just because it can hide from enemy titans. And sometimes I do do terrible in games just because I consistently die to enemy titans over and over and over. And those games, I might start making a cloak class for when that's happening and just start cloaking up all over the place so I can't die to titans as much as I do sometimes. But gameplay is coming to a wrap. You can see we were defeated, but uh, keep uh, stay tuned all the way to the end of this because I do absolutely wreck. Even in the epilogue, I get I get I believe I get another double kill. I take out a titan and just some pretty nasty stuff. But I don't usually run the assault rifle. But in, in attrition, I notice that I'm not going to be playing. You know, I'm not going to be sitting in this confined area uh, like I usually do in hardpoint. I'm going to be running around a lot more, and I'm going to need a lot more long-range gunfights. And the suppressor on this gun works out perfectly. I, I would not suggest you uh, just uh, put on extended mags or anything else. Suppressor is definitely the way to go. I was having some problems with it in the beta with, like, uh, hit detection and stuff like that. And so my bullets aren't registering, but everything's completely fine now. So suppressor is the way to go. And this HCOG sight works out awesome. And I'm absolutely wrecking. You know, I'm trying to... Uh, get to my well actually I don't even think I go in my uh, enemy uh, my friendly ship to get away to escape but I'm trying to get this guy and that's one problem I've been having I, I try to jump in this window and I just fail but look at that hot double kill boom double kick get slapped in the ass and yeah I'm just still pumped to this day but I'm raging at this point hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and I'll catch you guys in the next one